morning from Mars Hill, North Carolina. I'm currently about 30 minutes north of Asheville, which is one of my favorite cities in all of the US. And I've been here for the last few days with family, just spending time. We went whitewater rafting yesterday. And today we are going to rent some e-bikes and ride around Asheville and explore. Today should be super fun and you will get to meet a few of my family members that I don't know if you've met before. And also if you haven't watched my update video, then you wouldn't know, but <laughs> someone's back in the picture. <laughs> Watch my previous video for a full update, but yeah, if you're an OG and you're around for the RV days, then you would obviously know Dylan. And yeah, we're back. And better than ever. And better than ever. And we're gonna go have a lovely day in Asheville. So, let's go! Okay, we have just parked and we are walking to actually this lunch spot that I've never been to before, but I've heard it's amazing and has super good food. So we're gonna meet the whole fam there. That place was so good. And there was tons of vegetarian options. If you're a vegetarian like me, but now we are on Lexington Avenue, which is like the main shopping area. What I really love is that there's just so many like local artisan markets and places like where we are right now. The Crest building, they used to be like old like drugstores and stuff, and they've converted them now into little artist booths. Yeah, so. so cute. You can find like really cute, unique stuff. Like there's no rhyme or reason, just like lots of random little chotskis like this. Yeah, Asheville's a very artsy area, so you'll find some really unique stuff here. Now definitely one of the number, if not number one thing to do here in Asheville is go brewery hopping. There are more than 50 breweries here and we are at one of our favorites, one of our go-tos, Green Man. Gotta love this spot. This brewery is so cool. I love how a lot of them here in Asheville, you can actually see them brewing the beer on site. Sierra Nevada is the other one that's massive, but it's a little bit further out. It's close to the airport. But yeah, you can see the whole process here. Thanks, Queen. I also like that they have small. This is an eight ounce hazy. It's the Nerd Runner, I think. Nerd Nectar. Okay, so change of plans. I actually ended up feeling really ill the other day when we were supposed to come do e-bikes. So we're back again. and we're yeah, we're back again, trying this again. The e-bikes were sold out because it's Saturday and it's amazing weather, but we got some regular bikes and we rented them for three hours. So yeah, we're gonna go ride around Asheville and I don't even know where we're gonna go. So you're just, just an explore. You're just gonna be explore. along for the ride for sure. <laughs> So basically, we rented it for three hours, like I said. So for two people, it's 94 with tax and everything. And yeah, pretty much there's a lot of greenways in Asheville. So we're just gonna go ride along that, go along the French Broad River. I'll show you everything. And then we'll eventually stop by a brewery, probably maybe go into some shops. And yeah, but this place is in the River Arch District, which has a ton of galleries and really beautiful art galleries and studios. So we'll probably explore that when we get back. But I'm in the mood to go. Okay, so basically we just drove over the bridge, over the French Broad River, and now we're biking through French Broad Park, I think it's called. It's so pretty. I've actually never been to this park before, and it's really fun. You get to kind of go along the river and watch all the rafters, or the tubers, which is usually what we do. It's so much fun. This would actually be the perfect day for tubing. We usually do it every time we come, but we actually went whitewater rafting the other day in Irwin, Tennessee, which is like an hour from Asheville, and it was so fun. We went to USA Raft, 
and I had no idea that the Nolichucky River even existed. So if you want to go whitewater rafting, just take an hour drive outside of Asheville. So it was so fun. <laughs> As you drive along, drive, bike, <laughs> along the French Broad, there's gonna be a couple signs that are telling you what's coming up. So I think in a little less than like 0.7 miles or so is the Belgium, New Belgium. So I think we might have to hit that spot up. I haven't been to New Belgium in so long. It this has, place is like a playground. It's been a while. Yeah. Have food trucks all around there's actually live music that's about to start and yeah you can bring your dogs and sit outside and there's obviously the really nice outdoor area and you can sit basically overlooking the French Broad River which is amazing I'm a little tipsy because I don't drink that much <laughs> every time I've been here there's been a line out the door so I'm feeling blessed that there's not Chicken BLT, chicken teriyaki, and some other chicken thingy with chickpeas Tiki in it. Tiki Okay, well, I'm the vegetarian of the group, so I got banh mi tofu, black bean cheese, cheese and black bean. I am so hungry right now, and I love that on a fun, busy day like today, I don't have to worry about going to the grocery store, making a meal myself, thanks to Factor, who is sponsoring today's video. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals right to your door, and all you have to do is pop one in the microwave or oven, and you have a fresh, delicious meal ready to enjoy in just a couple minutes. I'm vegetarian, so I ordered the Veggie Plus Vegan Box and got to choose from more than 27 different meal options that Factor's team of gourmet chefs update weekly. Today, I'm having the blackened tofu bowl, and I had this the other day. It's so freaking good. Factor's registered dietitians work hand in hand with their kitchen to ensure that that every meal is made from scratch with nutritious ingredients, which is perfect for when you're too busy to even think about making a meal, let alone going to the grocery store and making it yourself. Meal plans range from four to 18 meals per week. And I love that when I'm on a family trip like I am right now, I can adjust my order size to accommodate for larger groups. We actually had Factor for dinner a couple nights ago after a super long day, and everyone got to choose a different meal based on what they were in the mood for, which we all loved. If you wanna try out Factor for yourself, just go to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CROSBY50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Okay, so remember when I told you about the Nola Chucky River where we went whitewater rafting? Well, we are currently here at a really cool music festival called Dog Days, I think. And it's been so much fun. It's so beautiful here. They have these yurts that you can see behind me and like airstreams you can stay in and little like tiny homes. And it's just such a good vibe and there's really great live music all the time. So we're having so much fun. And the other night we went to Salvage Station, which is another go-to spot. This is a little outside of Asheville. It's about maybe an hour. It's a little bit into Tennessee. It's right outside of Irwin. Um, but Salvage Station is in Asheville and we went there the other night and went to this reggae concert. It was so fun. There's just so much to do here. Every single night there's like live music everywhere and we gotta love that. Who is that? Oh. I'm practicing. Prac to get He's a fucking cheater. Practicing to lose. Okay, we are currently at French Broad Outfitters, which is usually where we come when we come do tubing. So I definitely recommend it for that, but we are here to pick up some camping equipment. Hello. Hi. Mojo's excited to go camping. He's really excited. 
So we've got a tent, pots and pans. And then our little stove. Yeah. So we're heading to, what, what do you call it, second gear? Just down the road. Yeah, right down the road to get the uh, propane canister. And I think we're actually gonna buy a couple sleeping pads just to have. All my camping gear is in Tampa. I was a grave error on my end. I totally forgot to bring them. So we don't have sleeping bags. So we brought uh, duvets and pillows because we're extra and we can park the truck at our campsite. Thank you, sir. So it'll be an extra cozy experience. This place is huge. I don't think I've ever been here before. We need this. No, we need a smaller one. This one is for like propane stoves. What if it's like, is it the one burner? It looks like this. Yeah. That's what we need. Okay, we actually need these. These are so cheap, but I guess it'll do the trick. Wow, they have everything here. This is definitely the place for reasonably priced camping gear, for sure. It's huge. officially on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is one of the quintessential places that you have to go slash drive when you're in Asheville. It's a 469 miles, and I believe it runs from Georgia up into Virginia, I think. Something like that. I'll fact check myself, but it is one of the most beautiful scenic drives that you will ever drive in the United States. So the Blue Ridge Mountains actually emit this like bluish tinge when you see it from a distance. And it's because the trees emit this chemical or something called isoprene and it reacts with the atmosphere and it gives this like bluish tinge and it's so beautiful. So we are heading to our campsite in the Pisgah National Forest which is only about 25 to 30 minute drive outside of Asheville. So if you want to come camping or you just want to go on some hikes, this is such a great area. So I am so excited to show you. And I'm so excited to go camping. Okay, so we are officially at Mount Pisgah Campground. I'm very excited, it's so beautiful. The rangers are so sweet. And apparently there is a very strong chance that we're going to be encountering some black bears while we're here. So we'll be taking all the precautions, but shouldn't be an issue. We've camped in bear country before. So I will give you a tour of the campground and the bathhouse when we arrive. We actually just went to the camp store, which is right across the street. And it's very basic, but it does have kind of all the essentials that you need. Definitely do your grocery shopping before you come, but they have things like ice. We just picked up a bunch of firewood, a little excessively, if I do say so myself, but. Hey, I'm hanging out by the fire all night. I am with you. Oh yeah, and they have like basic drugstore stuff as well, like medication, like Advil and Tums and stuff like that. A little bit of pre-made meals, but yeah, it's just good to have that right across the way. But I think we're coming up on it here soon. All right, here we are. Site C31. Sergio, come here. Oh, we gotta keep them close slash on a leash. What do you think? It's so weird being at a campsite without the trailer. I know. The last time we went camping, we were doing RV life. If you guys were around for that, yeah, we did obviously so much camping. We lived in our trailer for four months and it's so weird being at a campsite where we can just leisurely park the car and not have to deal with the trailer and unhitching it and all that fun stuff. But we do have to put up the tent, which we're not particularly skilled at. So um, that should be fun to watch. So we've got a little picnic table. I believe this is probably for a bear bag, but there's also this. This is food storage, no garbage. Okay, and then over here is our little tent site. Nice and level, which we love. And it's so nice. It's like its own little cove. There's a few little trail here, trail there. And I believe right there is some drinking water, which is really actually so nice. It is tent putting up time. Tent o'clock. 10 o'clock. Well, we're doing pretty good aside from the rain fly confusion, but 
hopefully it stays. The rain chance is pretty much zero, so hoping it stays that way because we're still figuring it out. Now that's a freaking tent. Oh yeah. Okay, so now let's get this sleeping pad in here. No, I'm sorry. Well, I just finished up making dinner. I made some vegetable and potato soup. And by made, I mean I had a little two plastic, I'll show you. I just got these really fancy vegetable soups from Walmart and he did them up in the pot and a bagged salad. I actually used to car camp a ton back in 2020 before I had a YouTube channel and one of my go-to easy meals was a bagged salad and I would throw whatever on top. But the funny part is I didn't bring spoons. <laughs> so Dylan is running to the little general store to see if they have any spoons so we don't have to drink our soup. <laughs> so stay tuned. Success. Well, there's a restaurant across the streets. <laughs> well, that's convenient. And the view. Are you serious? It's epic. Were you, was that you flying the drone? <laughs> the base of guilt. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Thanks, team. Good morning, guys. We're up. My sleeping pad deflated. So I was sleeping on gravel all night, <laughs> but we're going to watch the sunrise because this is the best chance of doing this and I've never done it before. And, and Mojo's excited. Mojo's very excited and there's a little bit of pink in the sky. We're so excited. If you guys can put Sunrise on the Blue Ridge Parkway on your bucket list, Do it. you totally should. We've got our English muffin with avocado and eggs. This is a staple breakfast for me at home and it's pretty easy. And fire, and fire. We have a fire. It's warm. It's way better than last night. Okay, we are off on our adventure for the day. There are so many hikes in the Pisgah National Forest. Like, you can hike up to Mount Pisgah. It's the trailhead, it's like a five minute drive from the campground that we're at. But one thing that is so just characteristic of Western North Carolina are the waterfalls. So I want to take you to one of my favorite waterfall hikes. It's very popular, but it's honestly such a must do. And it's about a 50 minute drive from our campground and a 50 minute drive from Asheville. So it's a great place to go for the day on the weekend. So we are about 10 minutes out and yeah, get ready for some amazing views. So we're at DuPont State Park and this state park has like three or four different amazing waterfalls that you can walk to. So all of the trails kind of converge. We're on High Loop Trail right now and we're about to get to our first waterfall but there's like a bunch more also that we might hit up. Last time that I was here, I only saw that waterfall from way up high, but I've never been down like this close or even down at the bottom. So I'm determined to get to the bottom. We're gonna, I don't even know the way to get there, but we're gonna try. definitely be ideal and maybe a bathing suit but you can't beat these views it's so nice the water is so refreshing I love it the waterfall is massive it's huge I love it 
That was super nice and it's a really, really easy hike. Very family friendly, dog friendly. Yeah, definitely bring your bathing suit and your water shoes if you wanna actually go into some of the pools. It's super refreshing, but now we're gonna go see if there's any other trails we wanna check out. But I'm also really hungry, so yeah, I want a snack. You want a what? I want a snack. Well, my time here in North Carolina is officially coming to a close. I head out tomorrow on the lovely 12 hour drive back to Tampa, but Asheville and North Carolina in general have such a special place in my heart. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And by the way, if you are looking for a place to stay in the mountains, about 30 minutes outside of Asheville, I highly recommend checking out the link below. The cabin I'm staying in is absolutely incredible. It's perfect for families or groups of friends to come and spend some time in the mountains and it's perfect for holiday gatherings. There's availability starting in October and I definitely recommend it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!